Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to talk about um, farm beets uh, using Node Red. And uh, Node Red will run on both the Raspberry Pi and also on a Windows PC. In this first part, I'm going to talk about collecting data from the uh, Raspberry Pi and the Grove sensors. And they'll be sent on to um, Excel and a special spreadsheet that will uh, not only collect the data with um, Microsoft Data Streamer, but will also display the results graphically. Here I'm going to illustrate how the hardware is um, built up. So we start off with a Raspberry Pi, and it can either be a Model 3 or a 4. Uh, in this illustration, I'm using a model four, and we add the uh, Grove hat. And uh, this is not the hat that comes with the FarmBits kit, but it's an earlier version that has slightly more Grove sockets. And uh, we add um, the Grove I2C devices. So instead of using the uh, sunlight sensor, which is also an I2C device, I'm using something which is a lot more accurate, which um, is a Grove digital light sensor, and it gives me the results and it's calibrated in Lux. And on the right, I, instead of using the DH11, I'm going to use um, the SH31 Grove temperature and humidity sensor, and it's also an I2C device. Now I'm adding on the Grove digital devices, both the analog devices on the left, the sensors, and on the top is the Grove relay, which can um, activate the pump. You'll notice here I'm actually adding a couple of extra ones, which are not in the um, farm beats kit. So I'm adding additional uh, buttons for control and some feedback uh, in the garden. I've got a Grove LED, and that will go on when I'm in the logging state. And uh, then we add the Grove analog devices. And uh, these are shown uh, on the right with the soil moisture. I've also added um, some extra ones here, the rotary angle and an air quality. And there's also a... Um, an analog light sensor. And this allows me to compare both the digital and the analog sensors for uh, light sensing. Then we add a PC, all of that data it goes into a PC and um, Microsoft Excel with uh, Data Streamer. And to get there, we have a Wi Fi and MQTT server. So this collects the data. And um, the Raspberry Pi sends out the data as MQTT packets. And these are collected by a M5 stack Atom computer, which is called the Atom Bridge. And it converts the Wi-Fi packets into a, a serial stream ready for the PC. But hold on, we've got something extra. And I've added a Grove display. So it's a uh, Oli display, and it allows additional feedback for those that are in the garden. And uh, if you're using this remotely, you can get the data not only on your PC inside, but you can also get the data on this Oli display. And this is what the display looks like. It will announce that farm beats with the time and date soil temperature, the moisture, the air, temperature and humidity, and the light in Lux. And uh, stay tuned and we'll have a look at the, uh, the program in detail. This is Farm Beat station number four, and um, it's based on a Raspberry Pi like this one here. And uh, what we do, we add a hat to this edge connector and the hat looks like this this is the hat 
and um, the hat is connected via Grove cables to all sorts of sensors and actuators. And here is the configuration for station number four. What's special about this one? It's totally node red. Um, but it does make some calls to the um, Grove Python library. And uh, these have been configured as um, node red nodes. So let's have a look to see what we've got. We've got the traditional um, farm beat sensors. So we've got the uh, soil moisture sensor here. Uh, we've also got the uh, push button for uh, shutting down and for logging. Uh, we have the relay for the pump. And um, instead of the um, DH11, we have a SHT31 temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, we've got um, a digital light sensor over here and we've still got the uh, we've got an analog uh, light sensor so we can compare the two of them and and in addition we can measure the air quality we have an air quality sensor here and we've got an additional um, dual buttons for some extra control and a um, LED for feedback so this comes on when we're in the logging state that is the local login state but uh, what's interesting we also have a um, display an OLED display that gives us the results and you can see that here that's very useful in the field that you know you're getting collecting results and um, you're getting some feedback so this whole system communicates with a uh, PC via Wi-Fi and um, there are two node red programs which are used uh, and this is one of them this is the node red program that works on the um, Raspberry Pi computer and um, just to have a look at it in detail uh, you can see how I'm using the buttons so we'll scroll right to the top and you can see that I'm checking the buttons here so the GPIO uh, 19 is connected to the red and 18 is connected to the blue button so the red one will shut down the Raspberry Pi all you have to do is just press that button and it activates the um, the node for shutting down the Raspberry Pi the um, blue button activates the logging state and it also um, turns on the LED for logging just moving down a bit we can see what's happening with the other buttons if we want to just turn the relay on we can activate these buttons manually or we can use the green button or the white button to turn it off and uh, you can see how the other uh, sensors are being activated there's a, um, a a repeating trigger that goes on every 10 seconds and it looks it's asking for the values uh, for the temperature and humidity, the soil moisture, the light sensor and once it collects all those that information including the air quality it um, collects the, um, soil mo the soil temperature and um, finally it waits one second and um, prepares everything for display on the OLLI display that you can see here and also it um, sets up a record now what's interesting is um, to create a record we use uh, JavaScript in this function so you can see how I'm doing that if I just expand it you can see that I'm setting up the payload to uh, include the uh, proper date format for Microsoft Excel and also uh, adding the other parameters and um, just to have a look at what's happening at the moment we'll just clear the displays on the right and uh, we might just activate that now so we'll just see what happens as soon as we uh, trigger the data we get a, a response like this so we're getting a payload and you can see that payload 
Now that payload has been sent off by Wi-Fi and it's been collected by the um, data streamer. So we'll have a look at that now. This is the Wi-Fi uh, data as it comes in. So you can see it here on um, Microsoft Excel. And uh, you can also see the, um, the graphing of those results over here. So everything's been graphed correctly, uh, including the soil temperature and moisture and the air temperature, humidity and uh, the visible light. And um, in the second part of this video, I will show how uh, the um, agent configuration and the journal controls uh, will also be uh, simulated on uh, Node 11 or Node Red, and um, they can uh, provide bi directional communications with the spreadsheet. And that's all for now.